And I started crying happy tears like, oh my God, I finally get to marry the man of my dreams. Hi guys, it's Eric. And Adam. And today we are bringing a very special video. So the whole proposal started a good like three to four months before it actually happened. When I decided that I wanted to propose, I had called his parents, I called my parents, and my first goal was to get as many people there as possible. So I really wanted his parents there and I really wanted my mom there. And so I knew it was gonna be around Thanksgiving and they were all gonna be in town. And actually the day that I did it on November 20th, it overlapped. So my mom uh, was leaving the next day and his parents were had just flown in like the day before. I also had called his best friend, Jenna, and invited her. She lives in Ohio and so I flew her out. And I also invited a couple of my friends. Some friends uh, drove up from San Diego. So I had this whole plan working already that people were gonna be there. And I did it all without Adam knowing. The Actual proposal happened in the Venice Canals in Venice, California. Uh, it's a really gorgeous place. They have beautiful homes that are up and down these canals and anyone who lives in the area can have like a canoe or a rowboat or something like that. And nobody else can have a canoe or a rowboat on these canals unless you live there. So, so cute. I fortunately had a client uh, who lived over there and she actually like came up with the idea and was like oh yeah you know it's really romantic all this would be great for a proposal and i was like oh my god and this was like almost a year prior and i was like one day when i do propose to adam can i give you a call and can we like set it up and she was like absolutely so i called her met up with her you know a couple weeks prior to the actual event and we kind of walked the scene and we went down to her boat and her boat, it, it's cute, but it was kind of old and dingy and rusty. And she was like, oh, I didn't realize my boat had gotten so bad. Let me talk to my neighbor and let's see if we can use her boat. And I was like, okay, you think so? she's really gonna allow that? She's like, oh yeah. She's like, let's go over there. She's like, oh, by the way, do you know who Cameron Mannheim is? And I was like, uh, yes. I was like, she's an amazing actress. And she was like, oh yeah, it's her boat that I'm going to ask. And I was like, we, we're going to Cameron Mannheim's right, right now. And she was like, yeah. So we walk over to Cameron Mannheim's house and she comes out and we're like, can we use your boat? And she was like, oh yeah, sure. What are you using it for? And, uh, my friend Rebecca was like, oh, you know, I'm going to use it for his proposal. She was like, oh, tell me all about what you're going to do. <laughs> and I said, okay, so the plan is to uh, get in the boat and go around. And then while I'm in the boat going around is when I'm going to do the proposal. And then as soon as we come back around, that's when all the friends, she's like, no, 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 no. That is not what you should do. This is what you should do. And she planned the whole thing for us. And I was like, oh my God, I can't remember. I'm planning my proposal. This is amazing. What happened, cut to the day of, I had made a plan to say that we're going to Long Beach to visit his parents. And my mom would drive up from San Diego and we were all going to have dinner together. And it was the first time that my mom and his parents had met. We had planned the dinner and then I think like, Two days before the day that we were going to Venice, I went to a client's house and I like called him from that. I was like, oh my gosh, my client lives on the Venice Canals. She said that she's like wants us to take a cruise around the port. It'll be so romantic. Why don't we do that when we come down this way on our way to go see your parents for dinner that day? And he was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's totally do that. I was all for it. I'm like such a romantic and I like watch romantic comedies like all day every day and so I was like oh my god that's genius yeah like that sounds amazing so just cute. as like a cute little date yeah no clue no we got there and uh it's funny because they manually control the water level, level mm -hmm. of the water and so when I was there testing out and doing a dry run there was water all the way up to the top so we walk around and uh we get to the boat and the boat is literally like there's like it's so low 
and there's like almost zero water. So I was like, oh crap, we're not gonna be able to do this. Oh my gosh, my plan has gone to crap. Also, leading up to that, it was a really dreary day, like overcast and like mm -hmm. drizzling. And I was like, this is like, couldn't be the worst day. Like A, it's overcast and dreary and cold. B, there is no water. I don't even know if we can row. Um, but we ended up getting the boat and we pushed it out and we were able to actually get it going. And when we turned the corner to go down one of the, uh, one of the canals, it was like the sun had just like gone below and the sky opened up and it was the most gorgeous, beautiful sunset that you could have ever hoped for. It was honestly one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. Like, and I it was got chills. Like, like, ugh. And it reflected in the water too, so it was like two sunsets at once. And it was, it was just so like pretty. So insane. Yeah. It was it was so beautiful. So I was like, wow. And I remember I FaceTimed my mom when we were in the boat in the middle of this little like run around the whole canal thing. I was like, who are you calling? Don't call her. Yeah, no. and I was like, oh my God, look where we are. It's so beautiful. And I remember when I called her, her face was like this close to the camera. <laughs> I'm like, what is she doing? Like, I was like, okay, she just like got a new phone, doesn't know how it works, so she just thinks she needs to be real close. That's what I thought. I was like, cool, whatever. She what was else? trying to hide the fact that she was in the exact same she location was, as us. <laughs> yeah, she was like a house like that we passed. She was like right there. Um, and so this whole time, I thought my parents... We're down in Long Beach, and so we were just gonna finish up and go out to this like fish house for dinner. I and I like, got one of my one of our close friends to videotape everything, and uh, I also got somebody else to take pictures. And, and it these was so people, funny. they were like hiding yeah, in the bushes, yeah, like, along the entire route. They were like creeping in the bushes, filming us, and and I could see them, like because I knew that they were there. I was kind of looking for them being like, oh my God, I hope they're not obvious. But I like totally saw them like pop up out of the bush <laughs> and take a picture. And I'm like, no, 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 dum, 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 dum. Well, and oblivious me, I was like, this is so pretty. Well, wait though, the whole time we were going around in the boats, apparently I can't row. Oh so gosh. It's <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't see any of the videographer or the photographer because I was just so focused on rowing and I like, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I like hold the oar thing like real he weird. He has never rowed before, and I didn't know this prior to this. And he was the one in the back that was supposed to steer, but he was never steering. He was just rowing the entire time. So there was a couple times that we ran into the side, yeah. and there was one time where we even ran into, into the, the side bridge. of the bridge. Yeah. Like, while we were going under, I was like, oh, God, no, no, no. So I wasn't supposed to, like, row? I was just no, supposed to... No, you're supposed to steer, and then the person in the front row. <laughs> I should have been in the front then. <laughs> we finished the whole, like, wraparound, and we docked, we the, docked the boat. And we had even talked about how we were going to go around so that, at, so that I would have gotten out first and Adam would have had to stay in the boat. Because if we would have docked the other way around, Adam would have just gotten out of the boat and just walked away. Yep. And so we wanted to make sure that he stayed in the boat. So we docked the boat. And Eric kept just saying over and over, he was like, stay there, stay there. I want to make sure we dock it before you get out because it's so muddy. All this stuff. So I was like, okay, yeah. I'll just follow his lead. We're like, whatever, because I just don't want to get muddy, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden I'm like... What's that smell? It smells like something's burning. Do you smell that? Like and something's I was like, burning. No, I don't smell anything. And what I had done is I had ordered sparklers for all the people that I had invited there to hold while they crossed this bridge that was right next to the dock. So they had all lit their sparklers like while we were docking and he could smell it. And I was like, no, there's there's no smell. I don't I don't smell anything. And I thought it was the boat. I was like, oh my God, like somehow we like rubbed up against something and we're going to catch on fire. Like something's burning. And he was like, no, I don't know what. And then all of a sudden I just like see, cause it's quite dark at this point. I see sparklers coming up over the bridge. Cause where we docked was right next to this bridge that went over the water. And I, I've never ever done any kind of drug, but I feel like I got the whole feeling of when you go on drugs I feel like I was feeling it in that moment because all these people with sparklers came up and I was just like what's happening I just couldn't comprehend anything that was going on and so once I started to focus on people I think I saw Jenna first and that was my best friend from Ohio that he flew in and I had talked to her the night before 
And she was like, oh, yeah, like, Ohio weather, blah, blah, blah. And this whole time, she was probably here already. I thought I was dreaming because it was just, like, people. And then I realized that I knew them. So it took me a while to get his attention away from everything that was going on, the sparklers and people who he thought were in different states. <laughs> uh, and so I finally sat him down and was like, focus, focus. And I crawled over the boat and got down on one knee. And I basically just asked him to marry me. And uh, his response was, yes, duh. <laughs> which is and, the best response ever. And Eric said that he was like super, super nervous. And oh, I'm God, just like I'm shaking. What's going on? Sit down. Sit down. No, sit down. You're going to fall over. Sit down, baby. You are the love of my life. Baby, look at me. You are the love of my life. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And... <laughs> I can't imagine doing it with anyone else. So I brought everybody here, all of your friends, my friends, your family, Jenna is here, and I'm like, <laughs> And in front of everybody here, I want to ask you if you will marry me. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh my God. Put your finger out. Yay! Oh <laughs> You're not dreaming. You're not dreaming. <laughs> Previously, we had talked about if we were ever to propose to one another, that he would do the proposing. Because I was like, I'm not going to do the proposing to you, you have to propose to me. And But he knew that I would say yes. Because I'm older, and so he's like, you're doing it. Yeah. I'm like, okay. You know, it's the rest of your life, and you've built your whole life up to finding your soulmate, and wanting to marry them, and it was there, and it was like this fantasy coming true, and... So I, I remember nervous. though, I, I remember really that nervous. after it happened, after we proposed, and I was like, yes, duh. I like, it started to sink in and I was just like this. There's so many pictures too of me just like staying like this. Cause this is what I do when I'm like in, I guess in a state of shock and I'm like, oh my God, like just overwhelmed like with- blinders. Yeah, I'm like overwhelmed with happiness and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. And eventually everything started soaking in with what Eric did, that I started crying happy tears, like, oh my god, I finally get to marry the man of my dreams. It all worked out, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. it was definitely one of the best memories that we have, and just amazing. how perfect it ended up, and that sunset, and then oh. everyone who was there to support, and it was just... It was wonderful. But yeah, we hope that you enjoyed our little storytelling today, little story time of how I proposed to Adam. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, you guys, and share our story with all your friends. But we love you all, and we'll see you soon. Three! Three.